In this lecture, we will solve the fourth problem based on even and odd signals. In the previous problem, we obtained the even component and the odd component of signal xt by using the formula of even component and the odd component. We used the formulas because we were not able to use the properties of even and odd signals. So whenever you appear in any competitive exam, the first thing you have to do is to try to solve the problem based on even and odd signals using the properties. And if you are not able to use the properties, then you can directly use the formulas for even and odd components. And whenever you appear in your university exam, or for example, you appear in conventional exam of ESC, then try to solve the problem using the formulas first. Don't use the properties in written examinations. The properties are good when you have to choose one option out of four, but when you have to write down the complete solution, then don't use the properties. Now we will solve the fourth problem. In this problem, we need to find out the even and odd components of signal xt, which is equal to sine t ut. So signal xt is composed of two different signals. The first one is sine t, the second one is ut. Let's say x1t is sine t and x2t is ut. We already know sine t is an odd signal because it is anti-symmetric about the y-axis. You can simply check the condition of odd signals. x minus t will be minus x t or we can say x of t is equal to minus x minus t. So first perform the time reversal and then perform the amplitude reversal and if the signal is same as the original signal then it will be odd signal. So if you draw the waveform of sine t and perform the time reversal and then amplitude reversal you will get the same waveform. So sine t is an odd signal. Now what about ut? ut is the unit step signal and we can define ut as 0 when t is less than 0 and 1 when t is greater than 0. Now I will plot the waveform of unit step signal. This is very important signal in this subject, the unit step signal. When t is less than 0, ut is equal to 0. So it will remain 0 till minus infinity. And when t is greater than 0, ut is equal to 1. So it will remain 1 till infinity. So this is the waveform of unit step signal. And now from this waveform, you need to tell me whether it is even signal or odd signal. For this, we will first perform the time reversal. So let's perform the time reversal. We will obtain u of minus t, u of minus t. And in time reversal, we simply flip the original waveform about the y-axis. So we will have a waveform like this. And from the properties of even signal, we know x of t is equal to x of minus t. But here u of t is not same as u of minus t. So this signal is not even. Now to check for odd signal, we need to perform the amplitude reversal of u minus t. So let's quickly perform the amplitude reversal of u minus t. In case of amplitude reversal, we fold the signal about the x-axis. So minus u minus t will have the waveform like this. This is minus 1. And when t is greater than 0, it will remain 0. So this waveform is not same as this waveform. This means u of t is not same as minus u minus t. So ut is not odd signal. So ut is neither even nor odd signal. And we are multiplying an odd signal by neither even nor odd signal and we don't know any properties in which odd is multiplied by neither even nor odd and in that way we cannot use the properties to find out the even and odd components. So what is the second way? 
the second way is to use the formula of even component and the odd component so let's use the formula of even and odd components we already know x e t is equal to x t plus x minus t over 2 here x t is equal to sine t u t x t is equal to sine t u t x minus t is equal to sine minus t sine minus t is equal to minus sine t so i will write minus sine t in place of sine minus t u minus t i will write as it is we know the waveform of u minus t we will use it later so x t is equal to sine t u t x minus t is equal to minus sine t u minus t now let us put these values here to find out the even component sine t u t plus minus sine t u minus t divided by 2 rearranging this we can write sine t by 2 inside the bracket u t minus u minus t so this is the even component we will plot the waveform of the even component but first we will calculate the odd component the odd component is equal to x t minus x minus t divided by 2 we already know x t it is equal to sine t u t minus x minus t is equal to minus sine t u minus t minus sine t u minus t divided by 2 when you simplify this you will get sine t inside the bracket u t plus u minus t divided by 2 now u t plus u minus t is the property of unit step signal u t plus u minus t if you see the waveform this waveform and this waveform and if you add these two waveforms you will find this signal is always equal to 1 for all the different times the signals value is always going to be 1 because from minus infinity to 0 u t is 0 u t is 0 but u minus t is equal to 1 so 0 plus 1 we will get 1 when t is less than 0 and from 0 to infinity u t is 1 but u minus t is 0 so again 1 plus 0 we will get 1 so from minus infinity to infinity the signal u t plus u minus t is equal to 1 so in place of this we can write 1 so we will have the odd component equal to sine t by 2 so in this way we have obtained the even component and also the odd component now we will plot the waveform of even component and the odd component but before that there is one point i want to explain about the unit step signal the unit step signal is not defined at t equal to 0 but when you add u t plus u minus t at t equal to 0 also the value is equal to 1 so how we are assigning the value equal to 1 at t equal to 0 this is because of gibbs phenomena so for this lecture just remember this point when we will discuss the unit step signal in detail i will explain the gibbs phenomena now we will plot the waveform of odd component first the waveform of odd component is very easy because it is equal to sine t divided by 2 we already know how the waveform of sine t will look and here we are dividing it by 2 this means we are performing the amplitude scaling 1 by 2 is equal to 0 0.5 this means we are multiplying 0 0.5 to sine t and we already know the range of sine t is from minus 1 to 1 so from here we can say the odd component of signal xt will have the range from minus 0 0.5 to 0 0.5 and the waveform will be sinusoidal so let's quickly draw the waveform so this is how the waveform will look this upper limit here is equal to 0 0.5 and the lower limit is equal to minus 0 
So this is the complete waveform of odd component. Now we will draw the waveform of even component x e t. The waveform of even component is little bit tricky. First we need to analyze what will be u t minus u minus t. So let's first draw the waveform of u t minus u minus t. This is the waveform of u t and this is the waveform of minus u minus t and we are adding these two waveforms. So the resultant waveform, the resultant waveform will look like this. This is 1 and this is minus 1. Now we are multiplying this u t minus u minus t to sine t by 2. Sine t by 2's plot we have already obtained x o t is equal to sine t by 2. So the even component is the multiplication of these two waveforms. And if you multiply the right hand side of this waveform with the right hand side of this waveform you are going to get the same waveform. But when you multiply the left hand side of this waveform with the left hand side of this waveform you will get the mirror image about the x axis because you are multiplying minus 1 to this part. This means you are performing the amplitude reversal. You are multiplying 1 to the right hand side so the obtained result will be same but you are multiplying minus 1 to the left hand side so the result will be mirror image about the x-axis. This means we are performing the amplitude reversal on the left hand side. So I will quickly draw the waveform of the even component. This is the final waveform of the even component and if you see the odd component you will find the signal is anti-symmetric about the y-axis and if you see the even component you will find the signal is symmetric about the y-axis. If you flip the signal about the y-axis you will get the same signal. So this is all for this lecture and if you have any questions related to even and odd components calculation you may ask in the comment section.